We get this book on black holes, white dwarves, and neutron stars. The Physics of Compact Objects. This is by Shapiro and uh, Tukolsky. Let's go ahead and see um, what we got going on. So, hmm, some prerequisites, lectures and readings to do. Uh, and then we have star deaths, the cold equation, the state below neutron drip. Hmm. Inverse beta decay, cold beta equilibrium, equations of state, white dwarves, the Chandrasekhar lim limit, masses and radii, cooling of white dwarves, and the surface layers, Ooh, general relativity, gravitational redshift, the weak field limit, the equilibrium of fluids. Interesting, perturbations around equilibrium, rotation and magnetic fields, so this is kind of cool stuff. Um, cold equations of state above neutron drip. I'm going to have to figure out what that all is, nuclear forces, and um, our tree fog. I don't know. Quark matter, neutron star models, theoretical models, pulsar. The breaking index, hadron superfluidity, star quakes, free neutron decay, and the cooling of neutron stars. Wow, black holes, x ray sources, uh, accretion disks. Oh my god, gravitational radiation. What is you mean kind of like gravitational waves? Wow, this is a book on gravitational waves. Holy smokes. And we have supermassive stars, black holes, all sorts of good stuff. Wow, let's see what, what, what uh, we can gather from uh, some of these. Intro pages here. Neutron stars, white dwarfs, Earth, Jupiter, Sun. This is like black holes are here. And then this is local super. What is this? The radius? R? And density? <laughs> it might be some kind of like a density to radius type of thing here. Um, some of these. Uh, masses of stars mass ranges essentially and we got luminosity um energy conservations here okay uh cold equation state neutron drip what is this then? anyway potential energy the mutual election the thomas fermi equation okay uh, neutralization thresholds here. Um, what is this? White dwarves here. Effective potential, radial motion. Maybe some kind of radial motion from one nucleus relative to another. Nuclear forces. Uh, and uh, some integrals here. The cooling of white dwarves. Thermal energy. Longitudinal image, heat capacity of the Coulomb lattice. Some more luminosity stuff. Ages of stars, some light rays here. Emitters and receivers. Uh, pertur perturbations? I always like perturbations. Perturbations help us to get like limits and stuff uh you know for the, to the first order second order third order so we can kind of like approximate things get some approximations um, i like how they derive all these nicely like that look at these nice equations that we see so far none of the equations have been like too complicated like these are just some regular like regular algebra plug it all in get an answer type of thing okay it's nice uh, simple stuff potential energy versus kinetic energy here this is gravitational potential, probably. Um, gravitational mass versus radius. Some superfluidity. Condensate. Solids and quark matter. So here, we're looking at maximum mass. Let's go forward a little bit. See what we got. Time milliseconds. Wow, this is interesting. A little 3D type of graph here pulse number individual pulses magnetic dipole model <laughs> rotators closed field critical fields 
thermal effects, magnetic effects, hydrodynamic effects. Simple little integrals, like I say, nothing too crazy here in terms of the math. It's not as hard as like string theory or, or quantum mechanics here. I'm just kind of doing like derivatives and stuff and then calculating some masses and luminosities and radii and velocities and potentials and stuff. The Schwarzschild solution, there it is. I think these are vectors, the E vectors in um, the unit vectors in s certain directions here. Black holes, uh, potential profile for non-zero rest mass. Interesting. Um, area theorem. <laughs> Calculating the areas of black holes and stuff. Like maybe their uh, evaporation rates or whatever. Some different pulse periods. Don't know what that even means, but I guess these are pulsars that are like sending out pulses or x-ray sources, maybe. And some different equations there, which is kind of cool. Wow, what the heck is this? Uh, type 1 x-ray bursts. It's kind of cool. Accretion uh, to black holes. Getting towards the end over here. Um, disc accretion. Yeah. Other disc models. Gravitational radiation. We're taking components of the um, metric tensor and stuff here. And doing like perturbations around them to make the gravitational waves. Oh my god. That's crazy. Relative strain. Produced by a gravitational wave. Wow, that is crazy. There's strain uh, produced on space time due to the gravitational waves. This is insane. Wow. Binary pulsars here. And some other stuff. Star radiation. Alright. Supermassive stars. And. Some, uh, just some finishing um, mass equations over here. Um, so yeah, next we got some quarks here in the back. A couple of uh, solutions, phase spaces. Oh my god, these are the Brillouin zone integrals and stuff. That's weird. But yeah. Um, this is definitely some crazy stuff, all about black holes, stars, and gravitational waves, and stuff like that. Really quite interesting book. Um, check it out.